Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today I will be explaining to you the concept of EDDSA, or Edwards Curve Digital Signature Algorithm, in a simple and intuitive way, including some calculations and formulas to illustrate how it works. But before we begin, please like the video, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel, to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. At its core, EDDSA is based on elliptic curve cryptography, which involves mathematical operations on points of a special curve. Herein, EDDSA adopts elliptic curves in twisted Edwards form or shortly twisted Edwards curves. Let's go through the main steps of EDDSA in a step-by-step -step manner to better understand how it works. The first step in using EDDSA is to generate a pair of keys, a private key, and a public key. We start by selecting a prime number P for modulo and an elliptic curve E. We then generate a random private key D as a large random number. The private key is kept secret and is used for signing, while the public key is calculated by multiplying the private key with a fixed point B on the curve. Mathematically, the public key Q is calculated as Q is equal to D times B. Notice that if you have both private key D and base point B, then it is easy to find point Q with double and add method. But finding K is computationally hard if you know both Q and B, this is elliptic curve discrete logarithm problem. To sign a message M, we start by generating a random value or lowercase, which acts like a one-time secret code. We then use this or lowercase value to compute a point or uppercase on the elliptic curve E using the formula. Our uppercase is equal to our lowercase times b. We then hash the message m to create a fixed size digest. This digest is like a summary of the message. Next, we calculate a value s with the formula. s is equal to our lowercase plus hash of message m times private key. Our uppercase and s pair represents our signature. To verify the signature, someone else uses our public key Q, the received signature R and S pair, and the message M itself. They hash the message M to obtain the same digest hash of M, and then use our public key Q and the formula to compute a points P1 and P2 on the curve east as P1 is equal to S times base point B, and P2 is equal to our uppercase plus hash of message M times public key Q. If the computed points P1 and P2 match, then the signature is considered valid, indicating that the message has not been tampered with and the sender is authentic. Now let's focus on how this is really working. P1 was S times base point B. Whereas S was calculated with our lowercase plus hash of message times private key. If we replace the calculation of S in the P1 calculation, then we will have P1 is equal to our lowercase plus hash of message times private key times base point B. If we move the base point B into the parenthesis, then we will have P1 is equal to our lowercase times base point B plus hash of message times private key times base point B. Here, private key times base point G is equal to public key Q. Moreover, our lowercase times base point B is equal to random point our uppercase. So, we can represent this as P1 is equal to our uppercase plus hash of message times public key Q. This is really equal to the point P2. In conclusion, EDDSA is a powerful algorithm that allows for secure digital signatures, providing authenticity and integrity to data. Its key generation, signing, and verification steps involve mathematical operations on elliptic curves, making it a secure and efficient choice for cryptographic applications. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.